So in case of entropy, we know that that the uh, in ideal solution also entropy change in uh, entropy uh, is uh, for the mixture or for the solution is not equal to zero. So uh, just let's discuss entropy. So first let's write the general form. So general form S is equals to S E plus delta S ideal mixture plus summation of X I si so this is the general form okay the general form over here now we know that change in entropy for the ideal solution is given by minus r summation of xi ln of xi substitute over here so s is equals to s e minus r summation of xi ln of xi plus summation of xi si so this is this is for the ideal and this is for the real solution the entropy right entropy is equals to the excess entropy minus r summation of xi ln of xi plus summation of xi si right jab bhi mole fractions are hai, you can relate this with uh, activity or with fugacity a gaseous mixture hoga, so you can relate with the fugacity or uh, if, if, if there is a re, uh, solution, liquid solution, then you can write in terms of activity. And dono aapko kya batate hain? Behavior batate hain, real solution ka ki wo kaise behave kar raha hai aur kitna wo deviate kar raha hai from the ideal, uh, ideality or from the ideal solution. Right? Similarly, you can write, this is very important uh, relation. Right? Uh, gate mein bahut sare questions aate hain related to excess property. Either they can ask the uh, direct uh, this relation or uh, ye values aapko excess property ki given rahegi or they ask this question ki uh, entropy kya hai entropy you can if these values are given mole fractions are given uh, entropy is uh, given then you can uh, sorry excess entropy is given then you can easily find the entropy of the solution now uh, you can write for the Gibbs same equation for the Gibbs free energy so first just write down the um, in, in general term so GE plus delta G ideal plus summation of XI GI okay so we know that for the change in gives free energy for the ideal mixture is given by RT summation of XI ln of XI so just substitute over here so you will get G is equals to GE plus RT summation of XI ln of XI plus summation of XI GI. So with this relation you can find out the Gibbs free energy of the solution. Also write excess property in terms of uh, partial molar property. So partial molar excess property for any component I is given by DABA and ME upon DABA and I and this is the general form which we have already discussed in partial molar property I right or ME is what this is partial molar gives free uh, sorry excess property and you can write XI MI bar right so we know that the, uh, you can write uh, excess molar property in partial molar in terms of partial molar property in the, uh, when we are talking about the residual property so what is the difference in xi in place of xi you, you need to write only yi this is the only difference uh, in the x excess property and residual property as i have already told you that x, residual properties are used for the gaseous mixture and for the gaseous mixture mole fraction you have defined karte ho in terms of y i defined karte ho y ke terms mein defined karte ho to jahan jahan x humne likha hai in excess property same uh, relations aayenge only wahan par aapko kya uh, replace karna hai in place of x i you have to write y i this is the difference between the excess property and residual property and uh, all the relations are remain same 